Okay, day seven. No more of that sappy stuff. Just gonna try to enjoy the journey, uh, which I have thus far. Yesterday was hard, uh, but I had some tea this morning and I woke up by a lake. So that was really nice. And I have just four more miles, four and a half, down this really rocky dirt road that I was dealing with the other day. And uh, it's only a 45 mile day. So there's a good chance I'm getting into camp by four o'clock or less, three o'clock, 3.30. It is about 9.45 or 9.50 right now. I spoke with a nice woman named Nadine. And I spoke with that guy over there on the boat. Uh, he seemed like a nice guy. He wished me luck. So going into the new day, we are young, we are reckless, we are ready to go. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Day seven. So I found the spot where all the ATVs go. Probably snowmobiles and I would think of um, Bikes, dirt bikes, how they come here and uh, mess about. Looks like a bunch of trails, a, little, a few jumps, a few obstacles. Let me show you this side. Maybe I can zoom in too. Like that type of thing. And right over here, that's cool. Back there. The Great Mound. Stopped at the Methodist church in town, Victory Mission. Met the pastor, Pastor Gould and his wife, who's, it's her birthday today. So happy birthday, Mrs. Gould. Whoa, oh, my bike fell over. Oh, my bike fell over. Anyways, um, uh, super, super nice people. Um, and I met Robin, who was um, part of the congregation, uh, possibly related to the pastor and then uh, um, two others, Ralph, and I can't remember the other person, but I got them all in a picture. Uh, just really blessed to have met them, and uh, the message was good. Uh, there, and basically we did uh, the Acts 19, um, about Paul's journey into, I think it was Ephesus, or somewhere around there. And... They had a few questions, I had a few questions, I took a picture of them, they took a picture of me, and now I'm going to go find some food. So I got to church on Sunday, mom and dad will be happy about that, and uh, I'm a happy camper now. Just 33 more miles to destination, probably figuring on showing up around uh, 5 o'clock, which would be great, have a good bit of time to camp, and it'll be a short day, and then a, a long day tomorrow, but I'll have a, a warm bed actually more a soft warm bed so that's gonna be awesome so i'll try to get uh some pictures for the journey and some videos for the journey and here we go all right so i spent way too much time in mcgregor minnesota but i just couldn't pass up this little spot this ice cream parlor with a uh, gift shop and I also went and ate at this cafe we're just gonna go through everything just really quickly I ate at this cafe I just went inside here I bought a bought a, a Minnesota necklace for myself I know uh, I want to take the necklace into California you know traveling in style so that everybody knows that Minnesota is what's up um, so you go over here the, the owner Brenda was born in this house she owns the whole lot, which is the cafe, the gift shop, a little garden shop over there, and I don't know what that is. A hair salon. I'm pretty sure she owns that too. I ate at this cafe and they gave me a heaping portion of food. And I mean heaping. I couldn't eat it all. I took some with me and I'm gonna have dinner tonight easy. I had a coffee here as well. So definitely recommend this little corner because it is very cool and it's not an actual old schoolhouse, but it is nice. Anyways, just wanted to take you through that. Well, well, 
well, my old friend is back. You are back on the Soul Line Trail for another 12 miles to end the day. I'm really sick of this trail, man.